Hello everybody, Mike with Spray Jones coming to you with another video on spray foam insulation. I am the owner of Spray Jones and I produce content pertaining to spray foam insulation. A lot of two pound, a little bit of half pound, but we're educating you, uh, the consumer, the end user, the builder, and the spray foam person as to what you need to know about closed and open cell foam insulation to get a good installation and have longevity of product. So today's subject is going to be is two inches of closed cell spray foam actually a vapor barrier? Now a lot of people throw this out on Facebook and uh, on chat rooms and what have you and what I want to do is I want to show you that the information that is out there, the old school information actually gives us a really good clarity on this. We're going to go to old school version 2 wall tight. So this is this is wall tight by BASF in Canada. Uh, this is before it became purple. This is back when it was blue. And this is back before we had an HFO or even an HCFC uh, uh, blowing agent. A HFC, HFC blowing agent. So this is the technical data sheet that we would have been handing out from uh, 2006 forward uh, until about 2010. This would have been our technical data sheet and what I find interesting is this right here water uh, vapor permeance in the left hand side so tests done by an independent laboratory so they're going to give you the water vapor permeance of the substrate on the left and this is going to be rated in nanograms so to my American older brother uh, you don't rate things in metric down in the United States, it's imperial, so you want to know anything that is one perm or uh, less, or one perm and under, is a vapor barrier. So one perm in metric is 60 nanograms. So those two numbers, a one is 60. So we see here that a concrete slab is getting a 9.8 uh, nanograms. And so it's already it's already flowing um, quite a bit of water through it. Well, not a whole whole lot, but when we add one inch, just one inch of closed cell foam, we're 2.8 nanograms. So we're well underneath. So basically, at one inch thick on concrete, you can't spray it thin enough to not be a vapor barrier. So there you go. This is why external uh, spray foam on concrete at one inch thick or an inch and a half we're always going to give you your vapor perm but here we take a look at OSB oriented strand board 49 nanograms so remember 60 is a vapor barrier so it's already a, a vapor barrier on its own you add just one inch just one inch of spray foam closed cell two pound foam and you're 33 so you're half halfway better on being a vapor barrier so it, it, it exceeds it um, exceeds the 60 nanograms 33 plywood right 75 one inch 36 gypsum now this is where we get the the two inches from gypsum half inch gypsum um so your dens glass and your drywall and all those sort of stuff very permeable 1656 nanograms so flows water effortlessly right just one inch takes it down to 90 uh nanograms so if we double that thickness we're going to be well below the uh the 60, we're gonna drop it probably down in half again, so probably down into the 45s. And then again, cardboard rating, one inch. This is why we wanna be on cardboard. If you're using cardboard backer for your uh, your eaves or your vents to close something up, you know, you put a staple in a piece of cardboard to uh, cover up a hole or something, you know, one inch isn't quite gonna do it, but if we get, you know, inch and a half to two inch, boom, there we go. And then two inch cinder, uh, cinder creed block, um, concrete block wall, you know we're under at just one inch so the point of this video the point of showing this raw data is that you always need to rate the insulation the spray foam insulation on the substrate that it's going to you can take uh, core densities you can shave off the top and the bottom skins and just take this plug sample of the metal core that's what we call core density take the core of the foam and test that and give that a rating and say look at you know 50 millimeters or two inches it's going to be x amount of of perms or what have you and there's your vapor barrier but that's not an accurate nobody ever just takes a core sample you're never ever paying for just a core sample in your spray foam installation so it's sprayed to a wall sprayed to a foundation it's sprayed to rock it's sprayed to concrete right it's sprayed to some type of substrate it's sprayed to cardboard it's always sprayed into the building makeup 
So that's why rating it based on the water vapor permeance of the substrate and the foam together as a combined unit gives you your total water vapor permeance and what that's what the, sp the spray foam is allowed at. So I would say based on looking at this chart uh, that you basically at one and a quarter inch of foam to just about any substrate one and a quarter inch with the exception of maybe gypsum board you might need closer to inch and a half but one and a quarter inch is more than going to exceed your vapor barrier requirements in 95 96 percent of your situation so this old school data helps us see that you just don't get this in a lot of the technical data sheets anymore i don't know why the suppliers have stopped doing that and giving us ratings based on substrates that's why i had to go to this old school chart which is coming up on 20 years old here um you know you got to take a look at the old school stuff they knew this these facts back then that rated on the substrate uh it had a very different and more aggressive water vapor permeance so there you go you know an inch of foam is going to do it in most situations uh so you can do your research get some more data on things and don't just take everything at face value all the time you don't really actually need to be two inches in a lot of cases a lot lot less is going to get your water vapor permits and by the way we've got that approved for external basements right we can put an inch of foam on the outside of a basement and it's certified as damp proofing so if we if we needed two inches we'd have to go a whole lot thicker so so there you go uh here's our video on this share like and subscribe comment we'd like to see you and hear what you have to say uh Ring the notifications so you're notified when we're doing new videos and you keep up to date on all of this good information. Catch you in the next one. Bye.